Are you thinking about doing a house remodel? Whether it's a small project or a large project, you might be curious what the current trends are. Stay tuned to find out. Hey, I'm Ryan Schramm, owner and broker of Ryan Schramm Real Estate here in South Orange County. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. Hey, if you're interested in housing content, lifestyle content from the South Orange County area, make sure and subscribe to my channel, check out the newest content that I put out and you'll get alerted so we can stay in touch. All right, before we dive into the top remodel trends, I just wanna let you know, I had a local contractor on my podcast. His name is Steve Prophet. he's from San Clemente. We discussed everything from supply chain issues, the timeline for a remodel, what some really cool popular things people were doing in their home. And we just covered a lot of great information that you'll wanna hear if you're thinking about doing a remodel. So you can visit this little I link button here and check that out. All right, so what are the hottest remodel trends we're seeing? Number one, hard flooring. If you can get some sort of consistent hard flooring throughout the house, whether it's an engineered wood that's glued down or a luxury vinyl plank floor and LVP, this is gonna make the home feel so much nicer, larger, more consistent, and it's one of the most popular, hottest remodel trends out there. It seems simple, but it makes a huge difference in a house. Number two, buy folding doors. This is something I personally see a lot of given the ocean view properties and the beach close properties that I work on day in and day out. People wanna take advantage of those views or take advantage and let a lot of beach, you know, coastal beach, ocean breeze through the house. A great way to do that is a bifolding folding door. There are a lot of different companies that make them. They are not all alike. One of the major brands that I see of in a lot of houses is the La Cantina bifolding folding door system. Super important that you install it by a really knowledgeable, reputable contractor because everything's got to be nice and level and plumb. So when that door accordions open and stacks over to one side, it all tracks smoothly. Number three, a large kitchen island. We all know this. The kitchen is one of the most fun, entertaining spots to hang out. We love being around food, entertaining with the family room and the kitchen. There's no better way to do it than on a big island. So we've seen that a lot of people are looking for ways to remove a wall here or open up a space there so they can get that kitchen island. Now don't forget, if you're doing an island, consider the waterfall edge. It's something that really adds a flair to that island. You know, obviously don't have to do it, but if you can get that countertop material to waterfall off the edge and down to the floor, that's a super cool look. And I see a lot of people doing that. Number four, two-tone kitchen cabinets. Now a quick disclaimer, two-tone cabinets can make or break the kitchen. If you pick the wrong colors, it can be an absolute nightmare, bad look, and you might regret it. So if you're gonna go for the two-tone, you've really gotta put those colors out, put them in front of you, put them on your desk, put them on your kitchen counter at home before you start the project so that you know you absolutely love those two colors and that they don't clash, but they really enhance and create a synergy. That's something I'm seeing a lot of my clients do in their remodels is the two-tone kitchen cabinet colors. Number five, this is one that I put in there and it's kind of, it's starting to catch on is the ADU. ADU, better known as, you know, a casita, a granny flat, any one of those names will work. It's basically a little dwelling or structure apartment on the property with a single family house. And the state of California has been pushing the ADU in an effort to try and make more available housing for rentals and things like that. So we are starting to see this catch on. There's a couple people that are building them in my neighborhood right now. One of the things that's cool about the ADU is it's a good way to add value. It might cost you, you know, four or $500 per square foot to build an ADU on your lot. But at the end of the day, when you go to sell, if you're in the right neighborhood, that ADU square footage could yield 900, 1,000, $1,100 per square foot on the sale where you've actually doubled your initial investment. All right, so if you have any questions on this or you need a reference for a contractor, I've got the references I'd be happy to share. Drop me a comment below or shoot me a text and I can send you a contact card for a contractor that I think would be a good fit for your project. Take care.